All right, here you guys, Street G35. I'm gonna give you guys an update what's about to happen. I will be, um, I just got a radio host, crossover host. Just came down yesterday and I replaced, I did replace it. This one right here. Connect it right there. And then connect to that. It was melted. And this, uh, that's the bad one. It's melted, as you can see. Just gotta tidy it up. And what I'll need to be um, done today is gonna be um, pretty much I fix the the oil feeding issue. It's too much oil feed, so it's too much smoke. And I got the restrictors 1.5 millimeter, so, so it should be uh, no smoke. When it was the issue was uh, it's too much oil was feeding when on the high RPM throttle. It just smoked from the exhaust, so should fix that. And yeah, I know I'm looking a little too fresh to work on a car right now, but you gotta save money, you know. It saves a lot of money. It's just, that's a lot of shop. They they don't know about the car characteristics of the car and what I, you know, have done to the car, so they might fuck it up. You have to do it yourself. That's how it is. Notifications, a lot of things, reflections going on. I would say I wouldn't blame them. They fucked it up, certain thing. But that's why, you know, you gotta get your hand dirty, save the money. Alright, let's get going. So we have two locations that, um, the shoot, you know, it was a shoot problem that I could have be cautious about it. And the problem is about the heat. It's right here. Well, obviously, right here is going to be put of the turbo blanket on top of it, but still, the bottom right there, that's where it was melted, the crossover hose, radiator hose, so it was touching right here, it's still touching, but this one, a new one, I did cover the heat shield and everything, so it should be handled pretty solid, and another problem, it's down Down here, this is another problem. Luckily, I just realized right now. I mean, I realized, you know, as soon as I, you know, I, I had to melt it up there, so I, this one is touching, and the radio hose right here, too. It was touching the turbo pipe, our pipe, so it was somewhat turned brown. I was gonna melt it eventually, but luckily, I, you know, I notice right away so it's gonna heat wrap all that thing and make it a little better heat you know protection isolate it yeah, let's see the return line the way we turn line from the turbo going up all right someday I'm gonna show you guys what I, you know all the Little thing I installed in the car, so that's right now. I'm just get you know this thing done. Keep going, see you around. All right, G G35, G35 is up and running. Everything I got, everything installed. The melted hose, the crossover radio hose is also installed. It took me a little while because I tried to. Uh, Fix the heat, you know, heat management, everything covers on certain other thing. Make sure it's not gonna be melted. I'm not gonna take any rest on the second time. Some else breaking down and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I'll be. The next thing is gonna be uh, connect the battery and start it up. Let's see. Ho hopefully, nothing is leaking. So, take a second for you gotta look at that beautiful engine bay. I did everything myself so I wasn't the best scratch here and there because it, it, at first it took me a little while the car wasn't stopped probably when I you know put it when the first time go from the bottom up so it's still looking good though for what it is now you need a little wash 
what I have is Cam 222. I will, well, I will tell you guys the next video if you guys want to know more about this, you know, setup. There's a lot of things, more, nothing stops. So, alright, Dino Tune, appointment on Saturday, yes, on Saturday noon. So, Saturday for Giddy Fight Tune. Oh, also, I need to put a install. I just got the med injection controller. It came down. At first, I had the med injection controller with the NA suitable with the NA engine, and I should have got the force induction one that you control the boost based on the boost, which you know it's supposed to be more accurate. So. All that is, should be done. All right, you guys, the video is coming to an end. As you can see, the video footage I have here. This is uh, it's gonna be exciting. Next videos I'll be dropping is that the Dino Tune. You know, it was making pretty impressive power on the E85. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share the video. I would appreciate a lot. Thank you, you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay focused.